A NASA-funded Mission to Mars experiment is underway right now on the barren, desolate slopes of the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii. Six crew members, including four Americans, entered the dome last week where they will spend the next year in isolation. NASA plans to use data collected from the simulated space mission and apply it to a potential future mission to Mars. This is the fourth experiment at this lab on the Big Island of Hawaii. Our next guest spent eight months under the dome. Jocelyn Dunn, chief scientist on the mission, is with us. How are you, Jocelyn? Doing great. Happy to be back to Earth. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you're with me here on Earth. Tell me about these six new crew members. What, what can they expect during a 12-month mission? What do they do? Well, they have a lot of research tasks that they'll be busy with. Um, we actually didn't face boredom much at all during our eight-month stay. You're very busy and time goes by fast because you're committed to such interesting and valuable work that you know is helping the future of Mars exploration. So what kind of work is done? Tell me. Well, first, we're subjects, uh, so we take a lot of surveys explaining how we're feeling and how the stresses of this environment are impacting our team chemistry and our psychological states over time. But the crew members also have their own personal research projects, and we're uh, exploring Mauna Loa as if we are the first Mars explorers. So they go out in the mock spacesuits and explore the volcanic terrain and report back to mission support what are their findings about uh, simulated Mars. And tell me what the most difficult part was of being in there for eight months and what the most rewarding part was. The most difficult part is really being confined to your social situation, and there's really two sides to that. One, when you're having a bad day, it's difficult, you're not able to just get away and come back with a new perspective. And then on the other side of it, you, you don't know what to do when other people are having bad days as well. You can't really give space and, and get out and you know um, give them the house for the day to relax. You're always together and confined to that situation, so it's definitely one of the more difficult parts. And the most rewarding was definitely being able to pretend to be an astronaut. I mean, we're able to yeah. put on the spacesuit and see what it's like, what it feels like to be uh, have this barrier, uh, this technology that you're relying on, and to explore the world and try to take as many notes as you can and be in this physical challenge as well as this mental challenge when you're out exploring. And, and Jocelyn, if you had the chance and they offered you that one-way ticket, essentially, to Mars, would you take it? You know, I'm going to wait for the round trip, actually. <laughs> it's a good idea. Jocelyn, great to see you. Thanks for being with me. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you.